Hello, this is Michael Fisher, your Golden Plains Area Livestock Extension Agent. Today I'd like to visit with you for a moment about calibrating your feed truck or your feed wagon. When we feed our livestock or feed our cattle, uh, that's one of our most expensive uh, items is the feed that we're putting in there and the labor and work that we're putting to that. Uh, we want to make sure that we're getting a good job when we're feeding this. Uh, we're spending all the money on uh, nutritional products. We want to make sure it's getting evenly distributed amongst our herd so that they're getting the feed value and the feed nutrition out of it that they need. Uh, there are a lot of animal uh, behavior research has shown in the last few years that cattle are prone to come into the same spot to bunk on most days. So if uh, your feed truck is not doing an even job of mixing your feed ration and distributing it along the length of the bunk at the same rate, it is possible that you could be shorting some of your cattle that maybe uh, start at one end of the bunk versus what the nutritional value of the cattle at the other end of the bunk are getting. Uh, as you know, small particles that have a little density uh, tend to go to the bottom of a feed ration, while the bigger, larger particles that come up to the top pretty readily. So uh, that's something we need to be worried about. Uh, one way that we can fairly effectively test this, and uh, it's fairly cheap to do so, is to get yourself some candy. Uh, in this case, I happen to have Red Hots and Lemon Drops. Uh, and you want to get some candies that kind of match the size density of the feeds that you're having. Uh, so if you have a lot of corn in your uh, ration, the Red Hots make a really good example for the corn. If you have a lot of silage chunks, large hay chunks, the lemon drops make a pretty good example. Uh, I like to use hard candies because they're not as likely to get smashed or torn up by your uh, mixing equipment. Uh, some people you will use jelly beans or marshmallows because they're easily to get a hold of and accessible. Um, you do not want to use something that's not edible, though. So avoid using something, say, like uh, the styrofoam packing popcorn pellets or something. You don't want to use any products like that to do this test. Now, what you do is take, for each type of candy you have, put about 3,000 of them or so in your feed uh, truck and mix it up with your feed ration. And then get some aluminum pans uh, like you would use to put turkey in on Thanksgiving or something. Uh, get three of them, at least, and put them in your feed bucket. One on each end, one in the middle, and then when you run your truck through, uh, just fill them up, and you can dig through them, find the candy that's in there, and count it. And hopefully, you'll have similar, maybe not exactly the same, but similar amounts of each of the candies in your first pan, in your second pan, and in your third pan. That'll give you a pretty good idea that your truck's doing a good job mixing, that the amount of time that you're mixing is appropriate. If you're getting a lot of the small candies in the beginning of the uh, uh, bunk, a lot of your larger candies at the end of the bunk, then you may want to consider evaluating uh, the amount of time that you're mixing your uh, feed ration in the truck or in the feed wagon, or whether or not the uh, actual equipment needs worked on is not mixing at the appropriate rate. If you have further questions about this or would like to discuss it more, feel free to give me a call at the Yuma County Extension Office in Ray, Colorado at 970-332-4151. And thanks for joining us today.